Hi my dear students, welcome to students reference channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get notifications for the upcoming videos. And today we are going to discuss about story sums from division chapter. The first one is Hina has 63 colored pencils. She has to distribute them equally amongst nine of her friends. How many pencils will each of her friends get? So, Hina has 63 pencils. She wants to distribute these pencils to 9 friends equally. So, we have to find the number of pencils got by each friend. So here we are going to distribute this 63 pencil. So this is the dividend. Dividend or dividend. And we have to divide as groups of 9. So this is 9 is the divisor here and you have to remember one thing so in division problems the bigger value is always dividend and the smaller value is always divisor so now we are going to write the statements total number of pencils equal to 63 number of friends equal to 9 number of pencils each friend get equal to 63 divided 9. So, 63 divided 9. 9 7 are 63 minus 63. So, 63 minus 63 is 0. So, here the quotient is 7. This is the answer. So, each friend will get 7 pencils. Okay. And in question, how many pencils will each of her friends get? Each of her friends. This is the keyword for finding the division operation. You have to remember this point. Next example, 68 eggs are to be put in trays such that there are 6 eggs in each tray. How many trays are required and how many eggs will be left? Left means remainder. Okay. So, total number of eggs is 68. This is the dividend and 6 is the divisor. So, total number of eggs equal to 68. Number of eggs in each tray equal to 6. So, now, how many trays are required? So, number of trays required equal to 68 divided 6. So, 68, 6 here. So, you take 6 first. 6 ones are 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Next, you bring down this 8. 6 ones are 6. 8 minus 6 is Two. So, 2 is the remainder. So, how many trays are required? 11 trays are required and how many eggs will be left? 2 eggs will be left. So, the answer is 11 trays are required and 2 eggs will be left. Story sums in exercise 5.2. 2. two. Solve the following story sums. A. Mary shared 10 sweets equally with 5 of her friends. How many sweets did each one of them get? So here 10 is the bigger value and 5 is the smaller value. So 10 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor. That means 10 divided 5. Okay. In solution part, first we have to write all the statements. First statement is 
total number of sweets equal to 10 and second is number of friends equal to 5 so number of sweets each friend get equal to 10 divided 5 so you write 10 divided 5 use 5 table 5 ones are 5 and 5 twos are 10 minus 10 minus 10 is 0 so each friend will get 2 sweets so the answer is each friend will get 2 sweets b 36 pens are packed in 4 boxes such that each box has the same number of pens how many pens are there in each box so 36 is the dividend and 4 is the divisor so we have to divide 36 by 4 36 divided 4 so in solution part we write total number of pens equal to 36 and number of boxes equal to 4 number of pens in each box equal to 36 divided 4 so if we divide 36 by 4 so 3 is less than 4 so we take 36 use 4 table 9 fours are 36 minus 36 minus 36 is 0 so the answer is 9 thus there are 9 pens in each box c there are 56 people attending a meeting there are 7 chairs arranged in each row how many rows are there in all so here dividend is 56 and divisor is 7 so 56 divided 7 gives the answer so in solution part we write all these statements first one is total number of people equal to 56 and number of chairs in each row equal to 7 so number of rows equal to 56 divided 7 so the first number 5 is less than 7 so we take 56 so use 7 table 8 7 are 56 minus 56 minus 56 is 0 so the answer is 8 thus there are 8 rows in all d 54 flowers are to be arranged equally in 6 flower parts find the number of flowers in each part 54 is the dividend and 6 is the divisor 54 divided 6 will give the answer so in solution part we write all these statements total number of flowers equal to 54 number of flower parts equal to 6 number of flowers in each part equal to 54 divided 6 and here 5 is the first number 5 is less than 6 so we can't divide so we take 54 use 6 table 9 6 are 54 minus so we get 54 minus 54 0 so the answer is 9 quotient is 9 so answer thus there are 9 flowers in each part and problem e there are 57 people traveling in 3 buses if equal number of people travel in each bus then how many people are traveling in each bus and here 57 is the dividend and 3 is the divisor 
so total number of people equal to 57 and number of buses equal to 3 so number of people in each bus equal to 57 divide by 3 so if we divide so we take the first number 5 5 is greater than this 3 so we can do that division operation so first take 5 3 ones are 3 minus and 5 minus 3 is 2 next you bring down 7 9 threes are 27 minus 27 minus 27 is 0 so the quotient is 19 this is the answer thus there are 19 people traveling in each bus f seven scrapbooks are made out of 95 papers such that each book has equal number of papers how many papers are remaining after binding so here 95 is the larger number so this is the divide and and seven is the smaller so this is the divisor so you first write the divide and statement 95 papers so you have to write total number of papers total number of papers equal to 95 and 7 is scrapbooks so number of scrapbooks equal to 7 and we have to find how many papers are remaining after binding and before such that each book has equal number of papers so the third statement is number of papers in each book that gives the quotient so number of papers in each book equal to 95 divided 7 so first i am taking the first number 9 this 9 is greater than 7 so we can do the division operation 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 so 14 is greater than 9 so i stop with 7 ones are 7 9 minus 7 is 2 bring down 5 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 7 threes are 21 7 fours are 28 28 is greater than 25 so i stop with 7 threes are 21 7 threes are 21 minus 5 minus 1 is 4 2 minus 2 is 0 so here quotient is 13 and 4 is reminder our question is what is our question how many papers are remaining after binding so we have to write the reminder as the answer our reminder is four thus there are four papers are remaining after binding and here 13 is the quotient and problem g this is the last problem there are 79 cups if six cups have to be packed in each box then how many boxes will be required how many cups will remain unpacked so we have to answer for two questions how many boxes will be required so this is, this is quotient second one how many cups will remain unpacked this is reminder so here 79 is the bigger value so 79 is the dividend and 6 is the smaller value so 6 is the divisor okay and here they have given there are 79 cups so we have to write total number of cups equal to 79 and 6 
cups have to be packed in each box so the second statement is number of cups in each box equal to 6 we have to find how many boxes so you write the next statement as number of boxes equal to 79 divided 6 so if we divide we take the first number 7 7 is greater than 6 so we can do the division operation 6 ones are 6 minus 7 minus 6 is 1 bring down 9 19 6 threes are 18 minus 18 is the closer value to 19 19 minus 18 is or 9 minus 8 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so 13 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder so first question is how many boxes will be required thus 13 boxes will be required and second question is how many cups will remain unpacked so one cup will remain unpacked so my dear students today we have discussed some division story problems you practice these problems very well if you have any doubts you please write it in the comment box if you like this video please like share and comment don't forget to subscribe the channel we will meet in the next class. Thank you.